gentlemen, you know in my last video we talked about the pros of being in your 50s. Well, as a follow-up to that, we're going to talk about how to dress your age past middle age today on Big Pretty Man. Hi, and welcome back to Big Pretty Man, the channel for the extra-large man who wants to live his life large and in charge. I'm your host, Timothy Big Pretty Crow. I'm a wardrobe and lifestyle consultant for the extra-large man. Okay, guys, in my last video, I talked about uh, the five pros of being in your 50s. And in that video, I brought up very briefly about the differences in how you should dress when you get older. Uh, however, <laughs> I feel like that this needs its own video because it has become a bit of an issue in, in our modern times. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to talk a bit about how to dress past middle age. Now, one of the catchphrases that I hear all the time and ad nauseum uh, is, well, age is just a number. And you know what? I understand the sentiment behind that and the philosophy behind that, and I actually do agree with it partially, is that, you know, you shouldn't allow your age to hold you back from things that you want to do. However, would you say that about a, a car? <laughs> If you had, you know, an Escort from the 1990s that's got 250,000 miles on it, are you going to look at it and say, well, those are just numbers? <laughs> no, <laughs> because that reflects the wear and tear on that vehicle. Well, your body's a vehicle too, and no matter how well you take care of it, no matter how, uh, fit, you know, how much fitness you're into and the foods that you eat, this is an older machine and it has its wear and tear. Now, it's good that you are taking care of it, but you have to treat it differently now. You can't, if, with a car like that, you can't be, you know, uh, you, you can't be gunning it full out unless you want to put a new engine in it. And unfortunately, we can't put new engines in us. <laughs> so we have to work with what we, the old equipment that we have. And, you know, and not only that, but this, that, that car was a certain style for its time. Now it looks out of place. And that kind of reflects also on older gentlemen and the way they dress. You know, when we're trying to dress for the modern day, for people that are like in their 20s or early 30s, it just doesn't work. You know, if you're going, you know, if uh, the, the turned around backwards um, uh, baseball caps or even four baseball caps, uh, the athletic wear, the you know the pants drooping, the 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 tight jeans with with, with all ripped up, the sneakers, you know, um, all of these other um, reflections of the styles of youth. If you're a man in your in your late forties or fifties and you're wearing that, I'm here to tell you you look ridiculous. You really do. <laughs> you know it, it's it's you know it's time. It's time to recognize your age, and even more than that, it's way past time to grow the hell up. I'm sorry, but that's just true. And how do you think people are looking at you when you're dressed like that? Do you think, oh, they're thinking, oh, he's fly, he's hip-hop. Yeah, No, they're thinking, look at that old dude dre dressed like that. It doesn't look right. He looks like a clown. That's what you're getting. People may say, oh, you look, you know, I love your style, love all that. But a little, there's a little snicker behind it, a little sneer. So pay attention to that. So, you know, the, we really have to, to accept that we, when we're in our middle age and older into our 50s, we really have to recognize that, you know, we are older, we're more mature, and youthful clothing and youthful ways just do not match this vehicle any longer. You know, you can't pimp this out. It just looks ridiculous. You know, <laughs> so it's you really need to concentrate on dressing your age or at least um, making your clothes look good for a person your age. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about here um, is right to the roots, and that would be um, uh, that would be your physical gr uh, grooming. Um, as I, if you saw before, I did a video on skin care, and skin care is very important as we get older. Youth don't have to worry about it as much, uh, you know, because they have youth. But for us older, older folks, you know, especially starting in your 40s, 
you started noticing the lines start to develop a little bit on the face. The, the loss of, of dexterity and movement a little bit. You couldn't quite move the way you used to. You're not, your reflexes started slowing down. You started, you know, also you started to see a little bit of the gray come in, or at least a lot of us do. Uh, and so, you know, and so therefore now we have to take a little bit better care of ourselves because we're starting where we've reached that peak and we're starting to slide over the other side. <laughs> in the 40s, that's when it all kicks in. So, you know, you, first you need to take care of your skin. And, you know, as I said in my other video, you can go back and watch it. Um, you know, you need to not only just not only clean in the shower, but you need need to uh, you need to special scrub your face, exfoliate your face, um, you know, remoisturize your face, and do this on a routine. If you watch my video, you'll you'll see what I was talking about. Now, the other thing that uh, I haven't talked about, and that would be concerning your hair uh, and and your beard. And I'm talking about what's in my beard, and that is the gray. Now, <laughs> I, when that start, when those silver streaks start coming in, or those gray hairs start coming in, sometimes for people in, in the late 30s, usually most men start getting them in their 40s. My hair was uh, basically still brown, and when I was 40, by the time I was 44, it had turned gray. It had turned, in fact, it turned not just gray, but it was the hair on my head had started to turn white. Um, you know, and, and the beard kind of followed suit. In fact, um, you know, I, I had to make a couple of decisions. Now, when you when you go gray, one thing I would say I would say when you're an older man is don't be afraid of gray. Don't see it as such a horrible thing. Yes, it is a sign that you're getting older, but also gray hair has its own symbolism. It has its it, it, you know, it has its own look. And it yes, it has its own charms. Uh, you know, it, gray hair shows, yes, that you're a mature man. It's one. It also, but it also reflects to people that you're a mature gentleman, that it also reflects classically wisdom. Think of every wise man that everyone ever had or ever in, in fiction or, you know, there was, you know, they, do they have a dark head of hair? No, they're gray. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, nobody really afraid of the gray. The, the, the gray streaks in the hair actually can look very distinguished. Uh, you know, the gray in the beard the, or the charcoal look can actually be quite handsome. And a lot of women really like that. Uh, you know, so, it, you know, and it's, a, it's actually a very nice, mature look. Now, some men, you know, if your hair really want to try and fight the age and dye their hair, I, you know, or, and dye their beard. And that's a personal choice. Um, however, you know, and that's one that I took. I went gray way too early, in my opinion. I went completely gray, you know, by the time I was, like I said, 43, 44. And I'm like, okay, I'm 44. I'm not 64. Uh, <laughs> and it really bothered me for several years. And actually, yes, I did try the, to dye it. I dyed it and my beard, and it actually looked pretty good, but in the long run, it just became too much maintenance and, and too much expense. Finally, one day, I just said, to heck with it, and I shaved it off back in 2018, and I've never looked back. I think it looks, I mean, I think that, and it is a choice, you know, it's, a, now a lot of people think that, oh, he must have done the, you know, shaved his head because he was going bald, and I did have the bald spot back here, the friar took look, which I inherited from my father, thanks dad, you know, but that actually didn't bother me too much, wear hats a lot, it didn't really bother me, I couldn't see it too, it wasn't, go, I wasn't going bald from the front and all that, so I was okay with it, but when it went gray, when it turned white, I'm like, okay, I am not Santa Claus. <laughs> you know, I'm a heavy set man with white beard and white hair. I am not Saint Nick. So uh, after I got tired of dying, I said, to heck with it. I let the beard go gray. I shaved the head. I accepted my age. Uh, and, you know, I don't think that it's something I'm going to go back to. Uh, you know, I actually like this bald look. Uh, I think it's, you know, gives me a bit of, makes me look very distinguished. And same thing with my beard. My beard's got a little more charcoal in it, you know, a little, you know, uh, some of these streaks. I actually like that, so it works for me. And I would say for you to take the same, uh, the same evaluation, stand back and look at it. And plus, you know, yeah, it's not just that you to dye it, but you can also um, 
have it styled, you know, with all, all of that. There's some great looking styles out there for men with gray hair that makes you look very cool, very chic, very distinguished, and quite handsome, and women like it. So, you know, don't be afraid of gray. Um, so the, uh, the, the, the other thing I'm going to go into is about beards, specifically. Now, I respect everyone's right to want to wear how, you know, how they handle their face and what they wear on their face, whether it be a mustache or clean shaven. But yes, I've always kind of been of the opinion that men, especially older men, need beards. Beards, you know, have been a symbol of masculinity and maturity for thousands of years throughout most, throughout a lot of cultures, if not all. You know, when, like, once again, you, you know, when you think of, of an elder of the tribe, is he clean shaven? <laughs> no, he has a beard. You know, uh, that's, it's just, you know, and it is a sign, is in a lot of cultures, growing a beard separates you from being a, between a, a clean sha a clean faced boy and a man. And I still kind of hold that opinion. Now, nothing against men that, that, that shave, if that, that's your personal thing. But I do think that a beard does yell, I'm a man. <laughs> you know, it just, it's, it's, it's masculine. Women don't wear them, so obviously <laughs> it's a masculine look. And another reason that I would say for is actually two. One, um, that older men w should grow beards because a lot of time it kind of hides some sins. Because a lot of times, you know, we start getting those lines from the mouth here. Maybe even starting getting a little bit of the jowl look. You grow a beard, that covers it over. See, I don't actually believe in doing things to make yourself look younger. I think that's a waste of time. Dyeing your hair jet black and when you're, when you're you know, 60, <laughs> you know, um, that, that might work a little while. But who are you fooling? You got all the wrinkles. You look like a 60-year-old man with, with dyed hair. So what I do believe in is not so much to do things that make you look younger, but do things that accentuate and make you look better at the age you are. And I think that a beard, you know, a natural beard kind of does that. Now, uh, you know, so, and of course with beards, you want to keep them, there's a lot of different styles, goatees, full beards, longer beards, shorter beards, but you want to keep your beard crafted. You want to keep it trimmed, even if it's long. Um, manageable. You might, you don't want it to look like it's all over the place, but you know, and, and don't be afraid of the gray in the beard. Uh, you know, let it grow out. Let it grow out. Once again, it shows wisdom. It shows experience. It looks very, it actually looks very dapper, uh, you know, and, it's a, and it looks, ex you don't get much more masculine than a beard. So the, I highly recommend that. Grow yourself a beard. At least try it. If you don't like it, hey, it's a, re it's a, it's some clippers and a razor in five minutes. No big deal. <laughs> now let's talk about clothing. Um, now once again, <laughs> you know, uh, you need to start dressing more as a mature man, not someone in their 20s. Because an older man trying to dress like someone in their youth, like present day youth, you look out of place, you look awkward, and you look ridiculous. Uh, usually you look kind of, you know, it's kind of clownish. You're not fooling anyone. And it looks very immature, it, you know, and you want to, as a man of middle age with the experience you have, or a man older in his 50s, you know, you want to be given the respect because you've earned that respect. You're an experienced man. Why would you throw all of that away to try and look like a kid? You know, kids dress like kids. Mature men dress like mature men. So therefore... You know, no ex no athletic or exercise clothing like jogging pants, uh, you know, and jogging suits, unless you're jogging or working out. Same thing goes with sneakers, you know, uh, or, or, you know, um, unless you are really needing them for your feet or, or when you're really busy or, you know, you are working out, you know, chuck, th chuck those at least for, unless f for utility uses. Uh, same thing with a lot of the, the other styles. You know, um, sports jerseys are great if you're going to a sports event, but wearing them all the time, and especially if you're wearing them with a t-shirt, you know, beneath, like you're a skateboarder. If you're a skateboarder in your 50s, you're really playing with your health. <laughs> Come on, guys. You know, when we get older, bones don't heal as quick. 
You can break something or bruise something when you're in your 20s. Hey, you're over it in a, you know, the bruise is gone a couple of days and, and, and the broken bone heals quick, you know, and, and doesn't leave any residual pain. When you're getting a little older, your body, once again, that body's getting rusty. That body's older. This is an older car and, you know, and you don't, you, you know, it doesn't fix itself as quickly and it's going to leave some pain. But, you know, if you can't do that, hey, I admire you. But, you know, either way, walking around dressed like you're a skateboarder, you know, or, you, you know, in sports jersey when you're not going to a sporting event, it looks, it looks, it, it, it looks immature. Uh, you know, uh, in, so, you know, chuck all of that. Um, and, you know, chuck the, the tight jeans with, with, the, with the cut, you know, the cut up knees. Um, you know, ch chuck the, you know, um, chuck the... Baseball cap, unless you're mowing your yard or going to a baseball game, you know, and trade that in for dress shirts and 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 chinos and comfortable, you know, and comfortable, um, sh you know, shoes, either dress shoes or loafers or some of these crossover shoes, you know, that can be just as comfortable as as uh, sneakers, you know, that is more uh, of a mature look. Thus, I am really promoting what is known as the classic menswear look. Classic menswear look looks better on on um, on older men. Also, as I've said before, for our extra large men and extra extra large men, it looks so much better um, than um, than the t-shirts and jeans. As I've said before, as extra extra large men, we've really lost the right to wear those things because they do not flatter us. As you get older, you've lost the, the you've kind of lost the same right um, because you're no longer a, a damn teenager. So you know, and the beautiful thing about the classic men's menswear look is that it is timeless. It hasn't changed that much. You know, uh, um, um, a jacket. Vests, dress shirts, ties, dress pants or chinos, dress shoes. They were around in the 1900s. They're still around today. Now, there's been a little bit of changes here and there, especially things like with ties and, lapel and shirt lapels. You know, the ties went from sk real skinny to uh, really broad and huge in the, in, in the 70s, back to stringy ties in the 80s, and now it's back to kind of, thank goodness, it's back to kind of a normal size tie. Same thing with lapels in the 70s. Man, you had those big Brady Bunch butterfly collars. You know, uh, you, you know, I'm, you know, the, back to the age of disco, <laughs> and thankfully they died with disco. But e you know, either way, these, even though there's a few twerks here and there, tweaks here and there that that change over time. Pretty much the jacket, the shirt, the pants, the dress shoes. It's pretty much stayed the same for for you know for well over you know a century and a half. So it is it, it is a very mature masculine look. And it looks great on older on, on middle age and older men. Now so you know um, and just simply because I'm saying going for go for the more classic menswear doesn't mean that you have to dress it up all the time like I'm doing today. You know it, you don't always have to be in blazers and vests and cravats and ties and 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 the accessories, the pocket squares, the, you know, the boutonnieres, all of that. You know, um, the the fancy hats. You don't have to wear that every day, of course. Now, if you want to dress that way, fine. But uh, you know, if you you can go for a more casual look. I mean. Um, a pair, pair of chinos, a dress shirt, open at the collar, rolled up at the sleeves, you know, uh, a, a nice pair of, of lo, you know, of loafers or even, or dress shoes. You know, it's just as comfortable as that other young crap you're going to, you were wearing. And, and it looks, you know, it looks much more mature. And also toss out the hats. Um, you know, the, the, the baseball caps. Wear the baseball caps if you're mowing the yard or you're doing something like that. Um, or going to a baseball game, you know, trade that in for, you know, a, fed a fedora, um, a trilby, or if it's just out and about in the day, you know, go for, you know, go for the flat caps, you know, or the, in the summer, the straw, the straw hats like I've, I've promoted, you know, that's a much more mass, that's a much more mature look. You know, because, you know, as I said, you don't want to, you, you want to look your age and dress your age. You know, somebody I feel sorry for, uh, or people that I feel sorry for, is some of these elderly rock stars. 
that have to, because of their image, dress in a more young and hip, you know, um, uh, you know, way. Um, like, for instance, take take uh, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger is 78 years old. I think he goes turned 79 this year. He is the father of of eight children, five grandchildren, and three great great grandchildren. And he's still running around wearing tight leather pants and all, and all, all of this like he's in his 20 in his 20s. You know, I pour, but that's part of his image. He's a rock star. I bet when that guy gets gets behind closed doors, there are some some very loose fitting chinos, comfortable orthopedic shoes, and a a really nice uh, cardigan sweater with some glasses and a and a comfy chair. I'm sure he's got the cardigan sw sweater. He's 78. He's a skinny man. I'm sure he gets cold. <laughs> and can you blame him? He, he's a great great grandfather. You know, he's a great grandfather. Yeah, uh, you, you, I, 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 he looks very uncomfortable to me. But yeah, but it's that's a good example. You know, we're not rock stars, um, so we need to kind of kind of uh, uh, dress uh, dress uh, dress our age. Now you may be saying, "All right, you know, big pretty Tim." You know, I understand that, but that really doesn't. You know, dressing and the classic menswear like that really doesn't really fit. You know my lifestyle. You know I'm I'm more of a blue collar you know type of guy. You know how am I going to be walking? You know um, I live my life in je jeans and flannel. How am I going to, you know, be putting all this on? Well, simply because you know you are more blue collar, you're not into the white collar world. Doesn't mean that you have to dress like a teenager. Doesn't mean you always have to have a baseball cap on your head. Doesn't mean you always have to be wearing, you know, um, rock and roll T-shirts and, and and dirty jeans and, and and sneakers. No, you can still you can still have kind of a rustic and blue collar look, but you have to still dress your age. For instance, like I said, the the a button up shirt rolled up the sleeves, even if it's a flannel shirt, flannel's a, a flannel looks fine. That's that's still a very mature look. And as far as jeans, I'm not knocking jeans completely. Um, I'm knocking. I'm knocking the tight jeans and the ripped up and, and all of this. These designer jeans that the teenage that these younger people are wearing. No, I think that a traditionally well, uh, you know, a traditional uh, um, fit of, of blue jeans is fine. Some people call it you know the, the dad jeans, whatever. Not necessarily dad jeans, but definitely just your regular cut Levi's um, with a, a pair of work boots or chucka boots. Um, you know, a, you know, rolling sleeve. I mean, you know, maybe even want to get you a little bit of a, you know, fancier belt buckle, some rings. Th you know, that's a very blue collar look, but yet very, very stylish and also, uh, you know, and very mature. You know, you, you know, um, and you know, wearing a wearing a uh, flat cap rather than a baseball cap. I, you know, that's that's still, you know, that was a working man's hat for over a hundred years. For you know, so. You're definitely not getting too fancy with that. There be, so there are ways to play with your lifestyle and the way you dress, but yet still may remain mature, you, you know, and and functional. You know, you, it doesn't have to be be well. I I, I wear you know jeans and and t-shirts and a baseball cap, um, or I have to dress all dapper like Big Pretty. No, there is a, there is in betweens, and Big Pretty doesn't always dress like this. I am. You know, I you know I wear I wear jeans and I I wear uh, you know I wear button up button up full shirts. I even do sometimes wear t-shirts if if I'm doing some sort of, of yard work or things like that. You know the you know it, what all I'm saying is that you need to however you dress don't look like you're try to look like you're 22. You know if you're 52, <laughs> you need to look. You know you can dress very chic. You can dress very dapper. You can dress very rugged and handsome. You know, and you can do that as an older man. Become a silver fox. You know, put on put on the nice you know the dress shirt, the, the a nice pair of chinos, a nice pair of chucka boots. You know, with, have that gray hair done done right. Have that gray beard, nice and charcoal beard, nice and trimmed. You know, you're going to look like a rugged. You know, you're going to look like a rugged manly man. And most men want to look like manly men. And I sir, you know, I certainly do. Uh, so you know, my point is is that it's time you, you're not 20 anymore. It's time to dress your age.
Okay, guys, well, that's all I got for this video. I just want you to remember that um, age, age has its own phase. And right now, these 20 to 30-year-olds, they're in their own era, and they're in their own phase, and they dress that phase. So, you know, with, with their tight jeans and their and their you know and their and their tight suits and the the rip the ripped up jeans and the and the sneakers you know and, and the uh, sports jerseys over t-shirts all of that you know that is their age however we older men more are into the mature, more mature age and we should dress to the more mature age you know we we're no longer children and we you know we we put those childish things behind and now we're men dress like men but only just like men dress like a sophisticated chic and handsome sexy man so you know what take care you know uh style that gray hair trim that that uh charcoal beard dread you know put on the 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 uh the classic men's style put on the rustic style be sophisticated be rugged be be, be sexy and always remember Stay pretty.